journey of Kuroi medicine. That was 26 years ago. Some of us were six or one year, six months, six months to one year. And here we are, it has been a journey. So currently we have programs, but we are active in four counties, such as Mungoma, uh, West Pokot, Nandi, and Wasingishu. But we have a program that cuts across, across all the countries that we work in. That's the mentorship and education support program. We pick girls from all over the country. We do not have specific counties. So under the five pillars, the first one on peace building and conflict mitigation. And first of all, all the five pillars are interlinked. So on peace building and conflict mitigation, Mary shared. So rural women promotes gender sensitive peace building. Uh, and that was that's why the organization was initiated in 1992, and that's why we have the award. So currently on peace building, we have programs in Wasingishu, we have programs in West Pokot on peace building, on women, peace and security, and Clinton and the other programs are going to share shortly on what we do and the main achievements. On women, human rights, that, that we've been active in advocating for institutional reforms, creating awareness on the rights of women and girls in the community, but we do not work with women alone. We involve men. We have the male champions. That's why today we also have men among the uh, celebration. So they have been very supportive in advocating for protection of women and girls from violations. And, and the county government and the national government and other partners implementing uh, policies and formulation of policies that work in favor of women and girls. So again, we are going to hear briefly on the main achievements under the pillars. So on mentorship and education support, uh, it's a program that cuts across all our pillars. We mentor young women to young women and men to take part in this building. We also offer financial support to girls in high school and some in college. And the girls who are beneficiaries of, of our programs are uh, already giving back their communities, some of them are in West Pokot, teaching, even establishing their own uh, mentorship programs in their villages. So we are going to hear from the program officers just briefly the main achievements and I welcome Clinton. The program is uh, uh, the one we are working in uh, three counties, that is West Pokot, uh, was in Bishu and Mungoma. Uh, we call it making 1325 count at grassroots level through the localization uh, strategy. So basically, this program is about localizing the Kenya National Action Plan for Women, Peace and Security. Now, here we go to Kifanya Kazi Sana, Katika Easy County Tatu, Wakifisha Kwamba local communities, Wanelewa Kenya National Action Plan Ninini. Uh, we work pamoja pia na county governments kwa kikisha ya kwamba pia wanelewa na national action plan nini na pia waeke ni kakati ya kwa kikisha ya kwamba national action plan inezingatiwa katika siku zijazo and uh, talk about the Ghana education support and mentorship if you have many speaking you must have had a talk about the mentorship and the education support pillar so under the pillar it's majorly aimed at helping young girls from other communities to access education and also helping the young girls from, who are running away from the FGM and managers to be able to access education and, <coughs> change, and also change their lives and the direction of their lives. For the community scorecard, we also did something called social accountability. We have did a community scorecard in three health facilities. One was in Kakumo Health Dispensary, another one was in Mebeki Karona Health Dispensary, and one was in Kakumo ECD Dispensary. Uh, some of the successes and some of the best practices that we received in this project was in Kakumo Dispensary. The community, just like Hidani, assessed the dispensary. After assessing the dispensary, immediately after two weeks, when they gave their 
submissions and also the recommendations to the county government. They received a nurse and also a lab technician to the dispensary. And also for the Katumo ECD, once they were able to do also a scorecard on the ECD, as we speak right now, they have one new classroom and also the students are learning in that. Yes. Thank you so much, the, the program of research for rural medicine. That's just a brief a summary of the achievements of the current programs that we had. But in the past, we've had so many other programs. You can always check them on our website. So today, we are celebrating an award. And this award, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing a brief background of the award. <coughs> the national, from the program that we have, on top here, it is, it is, DIAR Award Celebration Program. Nachiniake Diversity and Inclusion Best, Best NGO Program Award on Peace and Cohesion 2019. So on April 12th, there was, a, there was an award ceremony in Nairobi convened by Daima Trust in partnership with the NCIC. Institute of Economic Affairs, Safaricom, Kenzen, and other partners. You can check them from their website. Um, and Rolimen was given an award. Why? We've been having some programs on peace building uh, in the notary of Kenya. And, and there was a time we circulated a link asking you to vote for that and the best NGO program on peace and cohesion. So thank you for voting. We won the award. The, the, the final... <laughs> thank you. So the finalists included uh, Hodi Africa, Hodi Africa, uh, Peace Ambassadors Kenya, Peace Net Kenya, Ambassadors Integration Organization, Interregional Peace Network. So the finalists were C, sorry, five. And those who made it to the uh, that was the semi-final. The finalists we had three. The winner was Rudolf Limit Peace Link. Uh, the first runner up was Seeds of Peace Africa. <laughs> then Amani Women. Network. So we won this award because of your support. We really want to thank you so much. So I'm going to hand over the award to the board chair, then she'll pick it from there. Somebody give it over to the